hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c plus c plus c divided by uh, c divided by c divided by c is equals to 27 and we solve this problem for the values of c so here first we need to focus in the numerator term and in the numerator term we have uh, c be the common term so here we will take common c and we get the remaining values are 1 plus 1 plus 1 and it is divided by here you see that uh, c is divided by 3 times and we very well know about the order of solving the dvn is uh, from left to right okay uh, so if you have uh, multiple dvn signs in a uh, in, in number so that we can just uh, divide these these numbers from left to right okay so here first we divide uh, c by c first we divide these two numbers and when we divide c by c we will get here 1 and it is divided by c is equals to 27 and now here further in the next step we focus first in the numerator term and in the numerator term we have this is c times of uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 becomes 3 and it is divided by here we have 1 divided by c uh, is equals to 1 over c and this is equals to 27 and now here further in the next step uh, here you see that this is the division of the division uh, so uh, the uh, terms which is lies in the denominator side is that uh, is becomes here reciprocals and it is multiplied by the above term so here we have this is uh, 3c is multiplied by c over 1 and it is equals to 27 and now here uh, when we multiply these two terms we get here 3c multiplied by c is equals to 3c squared and it is equals to 27 uh, so here because we solve this problem for the values of c so for this we divide both of the sides by 3 in order to find the values of c uh, so that here we divide both of the sides by 3 in this way okay in each of these terms so this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get here in the left hand side is c square is equals to here we have this is 3 9s are 27 and we will get here 9 only and now in the next step uh, here we uh, we have two ways to solve this problem first is we will take a square root on both of the sides and the second method is we can apply the algebraic formula and here we move this 9 in the left hand side so here i can just apply the algebraic formula and for this we move this 9 in the left hand side and it will become the c square minus 9 is equals to 0 and here uh, we apply uh, this algebraic formula you know that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this algebraic formula uh, here we uh, solve this equation as first we rewrite this equation as this is c square minus we write 9 as 3 square equals to 0 and according to this algebraic formula we write this term as uh, this will be written as c minus 3 times of uh, c plus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write c plus 3 is equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of c is equals to 3 this is the first real solution of the given equation and from here we have c is equals to uh, this is plus 3 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus 3 this is the our second real solution of the given equation and now here in the next step we need to verify these two values of c so that uh, uh, for uh, verification uh, here first we need to copy down our given question statement here and the given question statement is c plus c plus c divided by c divided by c divided by c is equals to 27 and uh, we write here both of the values of c are here we have c equals to 3 and c equals to minus 3 so we need to verify these two values of c so here first we ver verify uh, this value of c 
Uh, so here for verification of this value we need to put this value uh, into the left hand side of this equation. So after substituting this value here we will get here 3 plus 3 plus 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 is equals to 27. And now uh, here you see that when we add 3 by 3 times we, we will get here a 9 and again we divide this 3 by this 3 and we will get here 1. Here I can already explain that uh, we uh, just divide the numbers from left to right order. Okay, So the order of division is from left to right. So first we can divide the left numbers and then we can divide the remaining. Okay, So here we have this is uh, 1 divided by 3. And here we check that is this equals to 27 or not. Uh, and now here in the next step we have this is 9 divided by here 1 divided by 3 is written as 1 over 3 equals to 27. Here this is the our claim. Uh, and now uh, here we move this 3 to the upsides and it will be written as 9 multiplied by 3 equals to 27. And here we easily get 27 is equals to 27. This shows that the value of uh, c equals to plus 3 uh, is satisfied our given question statement. And now here we will check uh, the value of c is equals to minus 3. So for minus 3 we put this value into the left hand side of the given equation. Uh, so that our given equation is written as minus 3 minus 3 and minus 3 divided by minus 3 divided by minus 3 divided by minus 3 and here our claim is to check is this equals to 27 or not okay so uh, here first we add these three values and uh, we will get here minus 9 divided by here when you divide minus 3 by minus 3 we get 1 divided by uh, minus 3 and here our claim is that we check is this equals to 27 or not so further in the next step <clears throat> here we write 1 divided by minus 3 is written as minus 1 over 3 and here we check that is this equals to 27 or not. So further in the next step uh, we move this 3 to the upside and it will be written as 9 times of 3 becomes 27 and this minus is cancelled out by this minus and we get here 27 is equals to 27. So here uh, this shows that uh, the second value of c that is uh, e equals to minus 3 is also satisfied our given question statement. So these are the two uh, values of c and these are the two solutions of the given equation. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.